Good morning. I'm coming to you live from SVG, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, the beautiful island of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And you know, I'm just going for a morning walk. This is uh, day five being here. And because I'm not going to be able to edit and upload any video, I just decided to do a quick live and to, to share my experience so far in St. Vincent like things that surprised me the most about St. Vincent. And one of the things, like you'd have heard me said during these vlogs, is that traveling is such an amazing thing because everywhere you go in the world, like there's something different from anywhere else. And as you can see, the background in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, it's so green, so lush, so beautiful. I would describe St. Vincent and the Grenadines almost like the island on the hill. Like most of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, I would say so far 75-80% is like hills and mountains. So you know like where I come from back home in Jamaica, like if you live on top of a hill and you can have a beautiful view of the city or an ocean view, you have to be like a politician, a businessman, a lawyer, a doctor, some great profession. But here, I would say 80, at least 80% 80 of the houses are on a hill. You know, as you can see behind me right there, that beautiful house right there. So you don't have to do anything special in St. Vincent to have a house on a hill. And it's so beautiful and it's so green. I'm going to show you guys some shot. Look, a mango tree that hundreds of mangoes. And this is just like anyone can access this. I'm sure the property is owned by someone, but for now it's just an empty lot and anyone can access it. You look across there, you're just seeing hills, hills, you know, mountains. So it is a beautiful country, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. As you can see, the houses are very beautiful. And <laughs> some of the things that I find fascinating so far first um in st vincent and the grenadines there are no pretty much no street signs and i found that like pretty pretty like fascinating um it it, it can be very challenging because i've been driving since day one and i think every day we went on the road we got lost <laughs> because you know like the gps when the gps is giving you direction it just gives you kilometers or or miles and say go here go there turn left turn right but it's not saying like turn right on queen street turn left on saint joseph or peter street or paul or whatever it's just saying turn left turn right because there's no official um street named in in saint vincent and grenadine and i find that fascinating because that's something I've never seen that before. Every country that I've been to, there are street names, but St. Vincent, <laughs> no names. Um, only when you go to the capital, which is Kingstown, there are a few of the streets, the major streets inside the city, you will see like names, but those names, I guess they're not official because they don't show up on the GPS. Yeah, so. As you can see, another beautiful, so many beautiful houses here. Yeah, so that, that is the thing that fascinates me so far about St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Um, it's, it's very hard to get around. Like if you come here and you try to rent a car, you have to describe like landmarks. Like you like you'd say, like turn left at the orange house and you go up and you see like a blue house and then you turn right. But it is a beautiful country. Um, another thing that I find very interesting is that there's no stoplights in the entire country. <laughs> and I've never seen that before too. So you, you, we've been driving, driving, driving for days looking for stoplight and there's no stoplight. Look at that view. That, that is, this is what like I would say 80% of the island look like. You know, you come out of your house and you just look over and you're seeing ocean or you're seeing mountains because it's just a very mountainous island full of mountains. Yes, yeah, so no stoplights 
um, we went into town and that's when we saw like the first there are like two stoplights in town but they're not connected so pretty much no stoplight in the entire island you just drive 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 um, and from what I'm seeing so far it's like I think it's gonna have to change eventually but the island is not really designed for tourists or visitors because it's pretty much impossible to get around if you don't know the island even people that are born here because we had someone trying to come and visit us the other day and the person could not make it because they're not from this end of the island um, and there's no street name to give them to say turn on this street or turn on that street so I think that is something that the government is going to have to work on if they're going to be a tourist one of those prime tourist destinations um, the other interesting thing is that there's no speed limit <laughs> there's no speed limit um, that is crazy because the roads are are very windy and there is just no speed limit um, look at that that's a breadfruit tree right there so green so beautiful yeah no 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 speed limit um, which is very fascinating to me again um, look at that house right there look how beautiful the colors are look at that yes yeah, so if you're driving around like it's like and I wouldn't recommend visitors to drive here because as I said no no speed limit um, I, I took the chance because you know I'm from another island and I know how the island drive goes so you know I took the chance but I wouldn't recommend it so yeah so that's just a bit of an update from St. Vincent and the Grenadines and I'll give you more content from St. Vincent as soon as I have the chance to upload so please like share and subscribe to this channel Thank you and peace. I'm out.